kick off uh, a new show that we're starting, a new video podcast called Jim and Zach in the Morning. Um, this is Zach. Zach. I'm Jim. And this is Jim and Zach in the Morning. First off, we're a franchise company. Um, we build beautiful outdoor living spaces. And so a couple of shout outs first off is to Tim and Monica, who just completed their um, three-week training course and are out there in the field making some money. And then the second shout out goes to our two new franchise owners, Stephen and Mark. Mark, they're in training. They just started on Monday and they have a three-week course to go. Um, so moving right along from there, um, Zach wants to talk about coffee today. Um, Zach loves coffee. I do. Um, Zach's going to tell you the type of coffee he likes and a little bit about why and how he makes it. And then maybe I'll fill something in. We'll see how I'm feeling at the end of his, his talk. So my story, story with coffee starts when I moved to the Pacific Northwest. Uh, I didn't drink it in hot California, but when I came here, I, it's almost a necessity to drink it to stay warm. <laughs> that is true. Uh, I love um, coffee that has a lot of flavor to it that I can drink by itself or with just creamer. I don't usually like to do any kind of flavoring in it. And thankfully here in the Pacific Northwest, uh, good quality coffee is very abundant. Uh, yeah. It is, it is. Um, do you have a favorite roaster in the Northwest? Yes, actually. One of my favorite uh, roasters is Cafe Ladra. They're actually really, uh, 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 mom and pop kind of roaster, but they they have a pretty big influence in Seattle and mm -hmm. which is actually very surprising since uh, Seattle is owned basically by Starbucks. Yeah, yeah uh, Cafe Ladro has Really done a good job and has a, a great cup of coffee. I will agree with you on that one. Yes, and uh, I usually go to the actual uh, store to get my coffee. I'll get the Medici which is uh, a mocha that has um, hints of orange peel. It sounds kind of gross, but it's amazing. Uh, it tastes like a chocolate orange, you know, the ones that you yeah. break. Yeah, those are. Oh. And uh, uh, when I don't have time to go to the store, I'll make it at home uh, in my French press. Hmm. There, I have a whole little technique that I can explain it in, the, in a later podcast. Maybe, maybe you should come in and we can set up a desk in front of us. And you can show us how you brew your uh, French press. Yeah, I uh, I'll show you what music I play. That uh, when I start the music, that means the start of making the French press. By the time the that song is over, the my coffee is ready. It's kind of an interesting process. Cool. I think that would be a fun little video to do. Um, do you only do French press? Do you do drip? Do you do espresso? Or do you have anything else you like? Or are you just a straight French press at home guy? Um, so French press is my preferred method because it's easy and it all, it basically gives you all of the notes of the yeah. bean. However, uh, I also really like, um, I don't know what the name of it is, but it's kind of like a cone. Like it kind a of pour over. A pour over, yes. Ugh. But it takes more time. Mm -hmm. But if you have the time to do it, it uh, it brings out even more notes of the of the yeah, coffee the roast. Yes, I mean when when you're looking at a pour over, like it's an art, right? Because not only do you have to pour over, but you need a specific pot. You need a gooseneck pot to be able to pour over on it. Your your water should be a certain temperature prior to hitting the coffee. And you know when you pour it in, you're looking for a specific bloom. So it's it's a it's an art form when you're really getting into that pour over piece of it. I do know a little bit about coffee. Um, oh, that's right. You were <laughs> I worked for a coffee company um, for just over a year. Um, so I've got some pretty deep knowledge on it. I'm going to just tell you quickly. Um, personally, if I'm going to make my own coffee, I'm going to do um, an espresso. Uh -huh. I'm going to do it over ice. So oh. I add the ice to the cup first. Mm -hmm. um, it actually changes the flavor. Okay. So if you do a straight shot into your cup and then pour it over ice, there's a different flavor than extracting the coffee and putting it right over ice. So mm -hmm. straight into the ice, um, I usually do a double or a triple shot. Okay. Um, trying to stay pretty close to an ounce to an ounce and a half um, and not too much more than that. Um, then I add some cream, a little bit of sugar, and uh, I'm good. 
and that's what I enjoy uh, the most. Um, my favorite coffee is from Olympia Coffee Roasters. Oh, I've never um, heard of them. Um, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but it, when you, um, even if you do it in a coffee pot, mm -hmm. you get these hints of like blueberry and Ooh. bear, and it is delicious. Um, I will, I, when it, when it comes back to season, I will definitely buy a bag. It's delicious. Um, but that's all the time we have for the day talking about coffee. Um, so join us next time for more, uh, Jim and Zach in the morning and who knows what we're going to talk about. Mm -hmm.